Hi, 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 friends. Welcome to Joy Fido International. My name is Joy Fido, and I'm coming to you today with the usual healthy topics, topics that inspire you to greater heights in life. So welcome on board. Okay, so today, um, you can notice we're actually outside and you'll be hearing quite a lot of noise because we are out here in this beautiful, beautiful place in South End. This is where all the rides happen. Adventure Island is right on my left hand side and there's so much going on on the other side. That's the beach in the background. So we thought we we're going to test this amazing new equipment that we got and we'll see how it goes. We'll take as much as we can. We hope the quality is good enough for you to hear us. And as usual, once this makes more sense, as we go along, we'll be using it more often and doing more videos outside. Okay, so the topic I decided to talk about today, it's quite an interesting one, quite an interesting one. I really would recommend that you follow me on Facebook because I tend to talk about things that really affect our lives and help us to grow better as human beings. So my Facebook page is Joy Fido. So just go onto Facebook, type in Joy Fido and you follow me and you get to know more because it's not every day we actually have time to be doing videos that talk about things that affect our lives. So forgiveness is the topic today. And why is forgiveness so important? It is a major part of our life. And one of the big questions I was asking is, can we really truly forgive people who hurt us? It's something lots of people struggle with. And I tell you why forgiveness is so important. You know, if you are a Christian, part of what the last prayer talks about is, Lord, forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, I read that particular verse over and over and over again. Why is that so important in our life? Now, for us to move forward in life, we want God to forgive us. Why is that important? Because the Bible clearly says it. We have all sinned. It says right from the beginning of man, Adam and Eve, we sinned. Adam and Eve sinned. Then they had Satan or they had the serpent and they all contributed and caused so much trouble in the world. So from then on, every man had sinned. From even before you're born, you've sinned. That's what they call the original sin. And now because we've sinned, it's carried on with all of us. Now, this is before we actually deal with daily life. Daily life where we get involved with things, things happen to us. Like I say to everybody, life happens. But when life happens, sometimes we do things that we don't know. Okay, okay so original scene, we've all seen against life. And then what happens is we get really angry. Um, we're not prepared to listen to any other person's point of view. Um, we have instances, and this is just even within the family, with your friends, with other people in the world, you take your view on an issue. So this is your view and this is the other person's view. And based on these two views, there's confusion. It, it's, it becomes a huge challenge. Now, whose view is right? I remember one of my teachers said recently, he says, um, I'm, I've forgotten the, the title of that thing, but the question was, who actually owns knowledge? Who introduced knowledge to the world? Because now, yes, we're constantly going for training and education and asking people to guide us. Who guided them? And so that's what life is. Nobody is completely right. Nobody is completely wrong. 
it is your personal view on whatever this topic is and so bringing us back to forgiveness becomes now you've taken your view the other person has taken their view and nobody wants to come down and apologize and say i'm sorry i've done wrong or the other person doesn't see that they've done wrong you don't see that you've done wrong it becomes a problem so we then hold grudges so based on what happened we hold grudges we get angry now what happens when you don't forgive is you become sad you're sad inside what happens to you you lose sight of who you are things start to happen to you I say to everybody who wants to listen is unforgiveness is your problem you caused it because it is you who can tell yourself you don't want to deal with this anymore you've had enough of it you want to carry on with your life because now that you've created unforgiveness in your heart it blocks you from moving forward it creates a scenario where you're held down your cells are affected your spirit is held down your life cannot flow normally again now when it comes to dealing with the spirit is a major thing we should all understand in life we are spirits and that's why you wake up in the morning you feel great sometimes and sometimes you wake up and you feel down it is that spirit in you that makes you who you are the living part of you now once that part of you is held down things go wrong and I can tell you, I've been in that scenario. I've been in that situation where things happen around me and I hold it so heavily in my heart and I can't move on. So the big question here or the big solution here today in this video is learn to forgive. Learn to let go. When you let go, your spirit is free. Your spirit becomes free. Your cells become clear. They can carry on with their life. And you're no longer stunted your life moves on so learn to forgive unforgiveness destroys the soul it destroys who you are it stops you from growing and so learn to understand that the other party is looking at things from their point of view and you're looking at it from your point of view but the big thing here is it is about you you the person who's carrying this grudge in your heart it is your problem not the other person's problem so the minute you let go of this pain of this sadness of this grudge the quicker your life grows the quicker you progress in life and i know so many issues out there that sometimes it's so hard for people to forgive but unfortunately it is not about the issue, that's not where we are. The issue is not where the problem is. The, the problem is you. Because when you held things down in your heart, you cannot move forward. So whenever I try to preach forgiveness to people, they think, but you don't understand what happened. You, do, you were not there. You did not, you don't see what happened. It is like this, it is like that. Yes, all those things happened from your point of view. And from the other person's point of view too, things happened, but, it is about your growth okay so i really hope i've been able to help give you something to think about regarding this topic forgiveness because it's something that's been on my mind for so long and i really want to help you out there to grow move your life to the level that god actually created you for so holding grudges don't help you holding pain in your heart doesn't help you sadness doesn't help you anger doesn't help you all the negatives don't help you and this is a cross board it happens everywhere mother against daughter daughter against husband or I mean daughter against sister husband against wife wife against husband and friends against friends and this just carries on do not let unforgiveness stop your life because there's so much you can gain from so many other people out there but the minute you put in unforgiveness that person is cut off your life. Anyway, so we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and share with your friends. This topic is so important. Share it with everyone you know. It will help change your life today. 
I look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you and God bless you.